Welcome back, everyone. We're here at Dirtfield Raceway. Time for the third main event of the night. It's going to be the Dirt Modifieds, and they're already lined up here on the oval, getting just about ready to go in their 25-lap season opener. We're going to go over the lineup. No points to go over, as this is the season opener for the spring season. So, starting on the front row, he won his heat race, number 98, for Leadpaw Motorsports, Kibo Monroe. Outside of row number one, Toast Racing, number 14, Candy Tomorrow. Back a row from there... Mishi Rossini, you just saw win in the Pure Stock event at number 109. Outside of him, normal uh, for local dog racing, number 22, Kaz Freshy. Back a row from there, number 2, FK Auto Sports uh, in the Galaxy Machine. That is F. Fred Kuhlhoven. Just outside of him, for the Sleepy Bunch in the California Republic Machine, Zaria Falconer. And back a row from there, number 103, Blue on Blue, Toast Racing, Lotus Setzer. Outside of that row for local dog racing, number six, Fock Rao. Back to the final row. Uh, by himself there on the inside in that red car, number 107, Lucido Avon. And just outside of him, which I don't know why I said he was by himself, the number 27 for VF Motorsports, Bill Padalo. We're about ready to get going here, and this is going to be an interesting race. It's going to be a really good race. And turn one. That's what I'm waiting for. This is going to be real. I'm waiting for turn three. <laughs> <laughs> one of those turns is going to be pretty bad. Here we go. Turn one. Rossini to the inside. Three wide. Monroe comes out with the lead. Rossini still on the attack. And here oh, we go. Turn three. <laughs> looks like we got a car on its side. It looks like it's Lucido. Is it Lucido? Ab yeah, Avon? yes, Lucido it is. Avon. He's over on the front stretch. They're still racing. Other than that, it's trying. Like I'll uh, I'll take care of that if you can cover the racing action for me. Yeah, looks like we got machine Michi Rossini in front fighting with Cable Monroe for first. Fred Coolhoven in third, and uh, it looks like Candy Tomorrow in fourth. Zero Falconer Falconer right in her under bumper. Kaz Freshy watching. Falk Rao and and Lotus Setzer, and there comes Bill Medallo. Medallo. Things getting a little shaky back there by second. I see Efred Kuhlhoven, uh, he's taking a look at Candy tomorrow, and she's been lightning fast in these. Nobody really seems to have anything for Kibo Monroe at the moment, though, which is pretty surprising. I mean, that he is. did win race. Well, if you got clean air, you got it going on there. Definitely. He's not running a bad line through the corners, either. He's doing the high-low high line, and you know I love that line. Yeah. Looks like Candy's running that, too. Mm hmm So she may be able to run him down. Kaz Freshy right there in her tire tracks. So now that they're starting to single out a bit, and there's there's still some side-by-side -side racing going on back there as Lucido Avon rejoins the field from the infield there. Um, as soon as they single out like this, Kibo Monroe is going to be in trouble. Now, he's not yeah. a bad driver by any stretch of the imagine. Okay, he kind of is. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, those two there, I mean, Candy Tomorrow, Kaz Freshy, these are championship-caliber drivers. They've done it before. They'll do it again. And uh, they're definitely trying to tonight. So he's, he's really, he's got to show what kind of driver he is, show what he's made of right now. I just saw a really bold move by Falk Rao. He drove it in really deep on in turn three, right under Zarya Falconer. And he took the position. Looks like he's running in the fourth position. And he's, he's moving on up. He's coming up on these guys we were talking about now. And uh, I'm, I'd imagine Kipo Monroe, he can look in his mirror. He can see Candy tomorrow all over him. And he's starting to make mistakes there. Uh, Falconer also back on the attack for fourth. Well, what you're talking about there. Yep. We got a big factor in front of Cable Monroe, and that's Lucido Avon. Oh, boy. Now, he is a hard driver to put a lap on. I know you know that from experience. Yes. <laughs> Last season, uh, yeah, he, I know you and him got tied up a couple of times there while you're we trying to put a lap on him, and this is, uh, this is really also going to show, again, what type of driver uh, Cable Monroe can be here if he can hang with these championship caliber drivers or if he's just going to keep doing what he's been doing. Looks like Kaz Freshy is looking at the inside now and then, but he just can't seal the deal. And he's... Oh! oh inside wall bit him big time. And he's, he's falling all the way back there. His teammate, Falk Rao, is now going to be taking a look at him, as is Zoria Falconer. She hasn't been her fastest recently, but she's definitely not one to count out in one of these group modified races. She, uh, she won 100 lapper. We had two 100 lappers last season, and she was just lightning fast. It was on this very track here, so 
Oh, we'll see if that experience that she had then will pay off. Her and Fock look like they're in sw keep swapping positions. Yeah, there, there's a lot of back and forth there. And then speaking of back and forth, there are four lapped machines in front of Kibo Monroe. Let's see what Oops. he can do. Eesh. I don't know. This is this is tough. I mean, when you're leading, and when you're not as, as respected as these guys like uh, Kaz Freshy or uh, Fock Rao, Candy Tomorrow, when you're not as respected as those drivers, the lap traffic goes, hey, you're one of us. You must be racing me for position. You know, they yeah. generally don't think in terms of moving out of the way uh, when they're supposed to for the leader. So it looks like Kibo's cutting through there. He's cutting through He's pretty good. doing pretty Oh, right no. as I said it. <laughs> yeah. It looks like he's cleared Bill P. Oh, Candy tomorrow in the inside wall. She collects oh, Kaz Freshy. Pile up. Oh, my goodness. That's everybody from second through sixth collected in that. And Kaz Freshy is going to come out on top. There is a lot of bent sheet metal back there. It looks like all the cars are still running. But, uh, it's like now Zara Falcon. Yeah. Looking, her, looking in for second. Fock Rouse making a move on the outside of Candy tomorrow. And they've got all that lap traffic in front of them. Fred Kuhlhoven and Bill Pedalo seem to be bouncing off each other a lot. Oh, oh. and they, they collected the inside wall there. The leaders are trying to get through that. Looks like two of them do. Falconer, Freshy, and tomorrow now trying to get through there again. Bach Rao working his way up the inside. Not a good idea to retaliate in front of the leaders. <laughs> Definitely not. There may be a little <laughs> something to that. Those two drivers might... Uh, be having a difficulty. Yeah. Wow, Falconer up the outside around F. Fred Kuhlhoven, and she's got clean air to chase down Kibo Monroe. The problem being, this is going to be lap 23, I think. 24. She's 24. got one lap to catch him. He's led almost every lap in this race. I think every wow. lap. Look at Kaz wow. Frenchy down Kaz. the back stretch. Little bit of lag there as we head for three. They're side by side. Freshy down to the inside. Keep open rope takes the checkers, but for second, it's Freshy. Yeah, it's Freshy. Wow. Wow. Last second there. And that was close. Oh, man. What a finish for second place. And Keep Monroe collecting a dirt modified win. He's, he's doing donuts. He looks pretty yeah. happy out there. Maybe a little Polish victory lap for him. So we're just waiting on the results here. Uh, come out of the gate at some point in the near future. There's your winner, Kibo Monroe. Kaz Freshy coming home second in that nail-biting finisher. Uh, then Candy Tomorrow and Zoria Falconer. It says Falconer crossed the line before tomorrow. So that's, uh, we'll have to check the footage on that one and see exactly what was up with that. Uh, but Falconer and Tomorrow third and fourth. Rao fifth. Lotus Setzer comes home sixth, last car on the lead lap. Then you got F. Fred Kuhlhoven in seventh. Bill Podalo, Mishi Rossini, and Lucido Avon. Rounding out the field. We're going to close down the oval, open up the figure eight, and send them true racing. This is going to be a barn burner, as if the others already weren't. We'll yeah. be right back.